Drew. <laughs> Wait, how do you do that, Drew? <laughs> how do you do that? So when you go to the stop video thing, there's a little arrow. You change your background. You click, on that, click on that arrow and says choose your show background. Okay. <laughs> Wait, where do you do this? If you had a green screen in the background, it'd be a lot better. There's my castle I built on Minecraft, but it's not showing up very well. I don't even know what this is. Okay. How do we do this? <laughs> Down in the left-hand corner where it says stop video, click on the little arrow. And then choose oh. virtual background. <clears throat> um. Uh. There. I, I don't have that. I don't know what it is. Whatever. Okay. Oh, dude, you see stop, stop, re <laughs> stop video. I know. Yeah, no, I don't have it. It's not. All right, boys. Okay. Welcome to the uh, Future Cast podcast, as we've named it. Um, and we're going to talk about um, just stuff. Uh, today we plan on talking about. Today we plan on talking. I got my pants wet. <laughs> Today we plan on talking about um, which battle royale games we think are the best because there's so many out there, and um, Fortnite. What we are to expect with uh, GTA 6 if it ever happens. But um, yeah, so uh, let's introduce ourselves. Starting with this handsome man over here, Brendan. Introduce yourself. Mm. <laughs> So I'm Brendan. <laughs> Last name. <laughs> you don't need to know. Let's, you want to give us your address? Next. Give us your address, please. Yes. It's mandatory. Yeah. Yes, you're 1208. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to finish that. That's okay, the yeah, don't number. finish that. Okay, that's about all I need. All right. Uh, Then we got Liker of Men over here. Hello. I'm Jude. Hi. He said hi. He said hi. There's this, man, other guy. There's this other guy, he named himself after a um, convenience store because, I don't know, he's probably born there. I think that's how the story goes. Yes. He was yeah, definitely born. Was he was conceived and born in a Walmart. <laughs> yeah, that's why. All in the span name. of five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm, yeah, that's all. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Starting out, um, our first topic is going to be uh, GTA and what we are to expect with um, GTA 6. So mm -hmm. I'd say um, let's start with uh, I'll start and we'll talk about uh, what we are expecting. So personally, um, I know with uh, the game we have now, GTA 5, um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of role play potential, but I think that they could add more. They could add like role play servers and stuff like that, because I think even Isaiah was talking about that the other day, and um, he said he wants more like role play servers in the game and stuff because that'd make it a lot easier. And if they added in like um, different uh, like different abilities and stuff for the characters, um, but yeah, I think what Brendan didn't you say something yesterday about how we're not even sure if they're gonna like drop it on play like PlayStation Five and Xbox. <laughs> Yeah, I heard that um, trying to make it a, a smaller game. I don't know what they mean by that, but how it like, might not be coming out well, on like PS4. Like a small uh, map? Or like, what is... What no, like, in general. It's just going to be smaller, and how they're not... Maybe that How they might not release it on PlayStation or Xbox. Mm, so they're just going to have it on PC? What would the reasoning be behind that, though? Like, why would they I don't they know. Wanna... I feel like they're bringing a lot more cash with Xbox and, PS I know. and PlayStation. On yeah, PlayStation. so... And they got the money, too, so I don't know why. Yeah, because yeah. I think GTA Five statistically, is, like, I think one of the, the highest-grossing games in the world, if not the highest-grossing game, mm -hmm. like, right behind Minecraft. Especially now that it's free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now they got Red Dead, too. Yeah, so Red Dead, because they're making so much money of off of that. And um, <laughs> so, I don't know. That's the other thing. Would they focus their? Would they pan their attention more over towards, like, red the Red Dead series? Are they going to try to do more Red Dead games? Like, is or that not. something that we'd want to see? I didn't like Red Dead at all. 
Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I like the story. It I'm was good. different. Yeah, sometimes it depends because they're um they're they're fairly similar, but they're in different time periods. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. So I think that's um that's something to look out for. Like we said, we don't know if they're gonna drop it on there or not. That's just something that we heard. Um, they could very well uh put it out on PlayStation and Xbox because um like we said. That's where they make most of their money, so I don't see any reason for them yeah. not to uh, not to do that. So um, there's just a lot that there's a lot that plays into the game, I guess. So um, let's start with Brendan. Brendan, what do you think uh, they should add with the next game? Is there anything that you wanted with GTA Five that you don't have? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a lot of like dislikes. Yeah, not, not not a whole lot. I wish they would add um, more places you can like go into. I always don't like that about games for some reason. Like, I wish I could yeah. go into more places. Especially with GTA because they're known for like uh, one of the reasons people like it so much is they make it to where you can do so much more than you can in other mm. open world games. And that'd be yeah. the one thing is if you can go into even more buildings. Oh, and yeah. you should be able to talk to people, like just random like computer people. I don't know. Just talk to people. Mm-hmm. Like, you mean like dialogue options with just NPCs, like like interaction options with NPCs. Yeah. I mean that could be a good idea. Yeah. Because then you can like I remember with is it Watch Dogs where you can go up to people and you can like make gestures to them, like Watch Dogs too, and you can like gesture yeah, can. towards people yeah. and like they get really like mad at you or if you like cuss them out or like flip them off or something like that i know um gta 5 you like run into someone they get pissed off but that's only if you like yeah. walk into them or get too close to them yeah but you or if you chill really people gestures yeah. this is um, copy and pasted what what'd you do on chat oh. where'd you get this from gta 6 on that so this is what Brennan found. GTA 6 will not release on PS4 and Xbox One because due to hardware limitations, uh, and it's nearly the end of current gen. Uh, like I said, we're not sure that we all believe this. This is just something that Brendan found. Um, but uh, Round nut. yeah, Mr. Nut found it. Um, anyway, let's move on. Uh, Jude, what do you think? You wanna? Um. The only thing maybe I'd like to see is not so much. I mean, no, never mind. That's kind of what makes the game is all the tox toxicity that goes on in the servers. That's true. Yeah, it does get so, kind of I mean, annoying though. If they just keep doing what they're doing now, especially for like online mode, or if like the story is even like half as good as the GTA GTA Five one, I feel like it'll be good a good game. Definitely bring in a lot of players. Yeah, because um, I mean. There's a lot of, uh, like you said, toxicity in the online portion as far as like like when you're trying to do your shipments and stuff like that, like your drug shipments yeah. or whatever, then people can just come take you out. And that's, um, it gets pretty annoying. Or like, especially like people you were that on oppressors. A, you were on like a giant GTA craze and then your facility kept getting raided, right? Yeah, that's or, that happened. I was... Um, I was on this big GTA craze. Me and Brendan both were for like for a week every night. Me and Brendan got on and uh, tried to like deliver stuff. And I think I made like maybe four million, five million. And one day I think I left the thing going so that I could make my product and then like sell it later on. And um, I got raided and I didn't even realize it. So that got pretty annoying. And I never used to get raided before. Like the whole like – um what i've been playing for like two years i have been playing as long as most people but i've been playing for two years and ever since i started playing the game i only i didn't get raided uh for the first year and a half like year and like eight months that i played it's only been the past two or three months that i've gotten raided and i've gotten raided like raided like 30 times so uh i mean that gets pretty annoying there's a lot of uh features that uh <coughs> make it make the game more um applicable for uh, griefing, but um, yeah, Drew, what do you think? I think what they should do is either like I think what would be cool is if they have like multiple maps and if they're like you can go to a certain map if you want to, or just yeah, like, you know, 
something. Th- yeah. Well, we've I had think the same the, app for uh, forever. Yeah. The um the like official GTA map or something like that talks about how San Andreas is um like a state. It's a made up state, and there's like different cities in it. And there's like one or two cities, like major cities that we have not been to, but like there's um there's a bunch of different areas, so they could make it to where you could like fast travel to the different areas of San Andreas, Los Santos being one of those locations. But um, so yeah. All right. Uh, moving on to the uh, next portion of the GTA topic. Um, there's been rumors going around. Um, ever since uh ever since the game was officially announced. That it was though it was happening, which really wasn't until maybe a month ago that they like officially announced it is happening. It was a bunch of like speculation, but um, we have um, a bunch of rumors going around now that it could be taking place in um, it could be taking place in uh, Vice City. I think it was Vice City, or no, not Vice City. Um, is it Vice City? I think it's Vice City. Yeah. Vice City, yeah. Okay, well, so there's rumors going around that it could be taking place in Vice City. Obviously, none of this is official. But, um, I mean, personally for me, I think it would be a really good, uh, like change of change of scenery because especially for people that have been playing GTA five since it came out, that's, um, that's been like seven years of only Los Santos, um, coming on eight years whenever next, uh, whenever this current gen of console is over. Um, but, uh, so I don't really know, um, much about Vice City itself. I think it's supposed to be kind of like uh, like how Los Santos is a spin on like Los Angeles. I think Vice City is a spin on Miami. So um, what do you guys mm. think about um, there being a different change of location? Like what could that open up for the game? What could make, what, how could that make the game better? Starting oh, with a, I don't know. Somebody. I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I don't. It, it kind of depends on how they how they change um, change it. You know, like from Miami to Vice City and stuff. Like what particularly they change? You mean like as far yeah. as buildings and stuff? Yeah, yeah. If they like how they how Vice they make City. it? Yeah, like um, if they add different, like Brendan said earlier, he wants to be able to go into more buildings, so they could yeah. be like I don't know Vice City. There's more potential maybe for. Uh, different buildings that you can interact with, but uh, I'm not sure. What were you going to say, Jude? I was going to say, if it's in Vice City, that was back on, like, PS2 and stuff. I feel like maybe it would bring a bunch of older gamers, maybe, like, for nostalgia purposes. They might, yeah, they might attract a whole yeah. new audience. That could be a possibility. Um, so I don't know what Brendan's doing over in the corner, but... Uh, <laughs> doing his TikTok dance. Oh. He's doing a TikTok dance, I guess, so... Oh, he's got a mask on. Mm-hmm. He's got a Star Wars mask on. Okay, Brennan, uh, what do you think sure. about a change of scenery for the game? How could that open up more possibilities? How could that make the game different? It's a change. <laughs> okay. I don't really know. You don't really know? I, I mean, I think Brennan just likes to go around and kill people anyway, so it wouldn't yeah, be much different for him. Is. Kinda, as long yeah. as they don't take that feature away, I guess. That's all mm. Brennan does is kill people. And he helps me sell my drugs. Oh, hold on. Green alien or purple aliens? Green. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Green. 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 Yeah. How's it feel? Uh, what you, feel feels pretty bad. What'd you tell him uh, if you're uh, green or purple? I don't Jeffrey. feel like I should answer that question. Let's hear, let's hear, let's hear, let's hear this. Uh. Do I have anything purple to put on in here? <laughs> I have a I green have gun, green. but no. Oh, so you, so you should be green. No, I'm not exactly. green. I'm purple. Uh, there's too many. Why? There's too many greens. Exactly. Apparently, so Beetlejuice is a purple game too. Oh man, I. Yeah. yeah so you guys. Uh, a lot of things. You know. See, look, and we got um, purple is just all around better. You know, because uh, is it? You know, purple is a better color. It is. Second I of all, that. green, you know. We don't even talk about it. Green is the color of uh, vegetables. Um, a lot of vegetables. If no, I don't know where vegetables I'm Vegetables keep you this. healthy, though. Um, yeah, strong. No, they don't. I don't think, in, don't, don't think that's ever been proven. 
What purple foods are there, Jeffrey? Uh, grapes. grapes. You got grapes. <laughs> what I, what um, do you get from grapes? Purple grapes are better than gra- no, they're not. You get wine from I can't grapes. go that far. Green yeah. grapes are better. Green grapes but, are um, way better. Green grapes are way better. I just thought about that. Yeah. What there is, there's like purple cabbage. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got Let, purple you onions cabbage. or red onions. <laughs> they call them, they look purple. Yeah, I want to see. I don't have to prove anything to you guys. <laughs> So, Brendan decided to bring this up because he wanted to cause some turmoil. He did. Why are you guys yeah, green, gang? I don't quite understand. Green. Just because it's the superior race, obviously. Yeah. They're fun. They're That's their job to recover. It's kind of racist, dude. That's yeah, what I was saying probably. the other day. I don't, I, I'm pretty sure this whole thing is just a race war. That's <laughs> yeah, what I it's mean, turned into. There's no, we people are dying, who? We people are dying who? because both sides can't agree to disagree. I mean, if it was my choice, obviously we'd have peace, um, and you know we just. I, agree. I feel like if it was your choice, we would just agree. Sh- we would just agree that purple is the better, um, and we can all live as one, knowing that that's how that works. You guys can go back to where you came from because Los Santos is ours. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but okay, yeah. So, uh, what do you guys think about um, what do you guys think about the uh, battle royale uh topic? Moving on to the next part of the uh, podcast, I said we my were favorite about battle royale. Well, okay, yeah, let's start, let's go let's go in order. Let's go in order. Sure. Let's start with uh, let's start with Brendan because he doesn't have as much experience with it as we do. But I want to hear Brendan's opinion first. So, what which what's your favorite battle royale game, Brendan? Mm. In general, I don't really like battle royale games. Okay, that's not the question. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. You don't know. You just said Brennan, Fortnite, so probably we were all big Fortnite nerds back when that game was popular. Back whenever it was like season, what like three or four? Season three or four, yeah. And then five. Maybe. And then we just fucked. No, hell no. <laughs> yeah, we said this is too much. Okay, uh, I don't right. know. Jude, what do you think? Um, my favorite battle, yeah, battle royale is probably, I'd probably have to say Warzone right now. Warzone right now? Because the only other battle royale games I was really kind of big into was like PUBG, but that was also on my phone. Apex. And then like yeah. Apex. And then I haven't mm-hmm. played Apex in like a year. Yeah, Apex was fun when we played it. I hate that it was only trios though. Yeah. You couldn't do That's squads. That's I think my favorite is probably Warzone as well. There's Warzone, PUBG, um, Fortnite, Blackout. I remember Blackout. Um, oh, yeah. What Apex. do you think, sir? Um, I'd probably go with either Warzone or Apex because I really enjoyed Apex, but it just got out of hand. Like, they didn't well, do anything. You were literally it's basically kind of it. like what Fortnite is now, where everyone's just yeah. level... Exactly. Like four hundred. And that was the biggest thing. I feel like that's why Fortnite fell because like I said, we were all really big into um we were all really big into Fortnite for the longest time back whenever it was popular. Yeah. And um yeah. I mean it got to the point where everybody that played the game was like really, really, really good at the game and it felt like it was really hard to uh win. The community became toxic, which you can't really avoid. That happens with all games. Uh we all play mm-hmm. Or most of us play Rainbow uh, Six Siege. Mm-hmm. That's a fairly toxic community. GTA can be a really toxic community, uh, but Fortnite. COD. Um, yeah, COD is an extremely toxic community. It always has been. It always will be. But um, I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah. So, what do you guys think? Uh, why did you guys choose? Why do Why do we like? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure we all agreed on. Warzone, except Brendan, because Brendan's never played Warzone. Um, but I think we all agreed on Warzone. Um, <laughs> why did we choose what we did? Why is Warzone like what makes Warzone better than Warzone? Like, I don't know. It's just the Gulag is one of the, the reasons. Well, yeah. Gulag is a that is a nice touch to it. That's because the thing is, is the thing is, you can um, if you die, it's not completely over for you. You can go yeah. to the gulag and fight, and even if you lose at that, you can be bought back. The whole currency, yeah, the system whole cash, is really good. 
Yeah, yeah. the currency is amazing. Ape, like, and also, yeah. I can't say how many times like we've died like straight off in the beginning, and then yeah. at least one or two of us have won gulag, and we've gone like second and or third yeah, place. The, like, yeah, the whole squad gets killed off, and then we are still able to come back and get first or second place. Yeah. You can't say that about like Fortnite or yeah. um, Apex even. The reboot card system is kind of tough. Um, like if your teammates, that. yeah, if your teammates like on the other side of the map or something, and you can't get over there to pick up his reboot card, and then yeah. you don't yeah. get him back. And then if everybody's dead, you don't get a chance for your whole squad. Or especially back. when it gets close to the end, and you're trying to like bring someone back, they're just gonna die immediately. Yeah, yeah that's just how that works. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why I'd say um, the map. A uh, big part of why we like Warzone is the map is so good. Yeah. Um, I I think. I didn't have much of a problem with the blackout map. I remember the blackout map. They put a bunch of different, yeah. like, iconic yeah. odd Old locations, school. like black, mm-hmm. op lo- black Ops locations in there. Um, I mean, it was fun while it lasted, but um, blackout didn't last that long. I don't. I didn't like Call of Duty um, 4 or Call of Duty Black Ops 4 on whole. So, um, yeah, yeah, Brendan, you played Apex, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think about Apex? Because you've got it, you don't have as much experience with it all. I mean, like, it was fun, and then I don't know, just kind of stopped playing after a while. That was really it. Yeah. Yeah, like oh. I said, the trio system. I hate that you could only run trios and you couldn't do. Um... What I hate about um, Warzone is that there's only squads, trios, and then solo. So there's no duos. Yeah, there's no duos. I wish there were duos. Um, and yeah. then if you do fail with trios, like I, uh, for yeah. some reason, half the people who get put with are just guitars. <laughs> yeah, then you can't work as a team if you're not talking to each other and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've got another one for us. Um, what is our? Uh, th- so there's been so there's been a ton of Call of Duty games. We've all, um, we've all had different experiences with the multiplayers and stuff. I think Brendan recently played like World War Two, right, mm-hmm. Brendan? Um, mm-hmm. I know that I used to play, um, the Black Ops multiplayer I wasn't super into. I don't know if any of us were. Um, there's like the Modern Warfare games, uh, the Modern Warfare Remastered. I got into that multiplayer really yeah, big. Yeah, pretty good. Um, there was Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. I kind of played that a little bit. Uh, right now we all play the Modern Warfare, or most of us play the Modern Warfare, um, multiplayer. Um, so... What do you guys think is the uh, best multiplayer out of all of them? And what Black Ops 2. Ch- yeah. Well, other than Black Ops 2, because I knew that all of our yeah, answers would be Black Ops 2. <laughs> other than Black Ops 2, what's the best I multiplayer enjoy, uh, and what uh, makes it stand out from the others other than Black Ops 2? I'd personally say, for me, I had a lot of fun when I was around like 10. I can't exactly remember playing like Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. Yeah. I don't yeah, would say same. Modern Warfare, just the new one, because yeah, say Adam. I, don't know, I didn't, I didn't really like the um the leveling system where you only get 155 each season, but I just, I don't know, I just feel like it's a lot smoother and cleaner. Yeah, because I mean, um, personally for me, um, like I said, other than Black Ops, um, I like um other than Black Ops Two, I think that um the best uh. The best one was probably uh, the Modern Warfare we have right now. Uh, like I said, I played um, back when Modern Warfare, Black Ops, or not Black Ops, um, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, when they remastered that. I played um, I played that a lot whenever they did the remaster. I didn't play the original um, game, but I played the remaster um, a ton. And um, I remember the guns were really fun. The maps were pretty cool. Uh, the campaign itself, um, but that moves into a whole different area. So, personally, for me, my favorite, like I said, is Black Ops 2. But other than Black Ops 2, my favorite mm-hmm. multiplayer is um, uh, the um, new Modern Warfare. Brandon, what do you think about um, uh, World War 2? Because I know none of us were huge fans of World War 2, but I know you've been playing World War 2 lately. I enjoyed I played it. World it War 2 a lot. Amazing. It was, it was all right. I remember we all was, played the beta, and I got the disc, and it was broken, so I never played the multiplayer. <laughs> but yeah, it's but fun. I played the beta a bunch. Yeah, no, World War II was fun. I liked it. I, it, I know I some people didn't it. like it, but... Yeah, the there campaign was, was good, too. 
It was just a yeah. game before. It was, but, it was just um, a new Call of Duty. And that was the thing is because they've done so much uh, with the like um, World War Two, World War One, that whole era, that um, it kind of is. Um, it's kind of tough to uh, replicate that because they've been doing that for so long. Like whenever they went into like Infinite Warfare and like Black Ops Four and Three, and it was so futuristic and people didn't like that stuff at all. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so then they decided to go back to their roots and do World War Two, and that didn't work out either. So maybe it's the uh, the modern. The player base for COD is just divisive, very, to say the least. Yeah. Because everybody's got different opinions on how the game should be, and they've got. It's to, like no matter what they do. I mean, sure they've made terrible games, but they've also made really good ones. But yeah, I, I yeah. feel like people just want the exact same thing that it's always been, which I guess is fine. But there also, I feel like there needs to be innovation in there somewhere. Yeah, it's just um, it's it's not easy to please everybody. Yeah, you can't please everybody. There's no. gonna be some people that like it. There's gonna be some people that hate it. That's and see that like I said, that's the whole. That's one of the biggest issues with the um, well, with just gaming um franchises in general is um, it goes both ways. Unless you've got a really broad, like very general concept for a game like GTA, you just, I mean, it doesn't get much more basic. You run around yeah. in the city doing stuff. Right. Um, mm-hmm. It's a better than these time you got to go to school tomorrow. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is he just being stupid? Okay. We have to go put our books away. We have to go... Yep. Get our... Yeah, that's have the to fun part. Tomorrow. I still gotta turn mine. My books. Wait, in. so does that mean I have to carry all my books? Oh. They're in the backpack. Bro, I, I know, but <laughs> I have two backpacks full of bro- books. So then, it goes. Two backpacks full I of books? I have a. I know, it's a, lot, it's a lot. I think I carried all mine. I have a library with like book a handful. That w- I <laughs> was due January 1st. So you're like gonna have to pay late fees and stuff for that? Oh yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I'm not excited to see it. Let's move on to the next um, topic, which is uh, video game movies. So there's. Um, give me one second. There is. You're talking about the B movie. Yeah, th- yeah, the B movie. That's obviously what I said. No, um, the, the next the B movie um, upcoming video game movies. There is thirty of them. There's okay, so. These are all the ones that are uh, confirmed. So we have uh, Monster Hunter, uh, Sonic 2, which apparently isn't official, uh, Mortal Kombat, Uncharted, Tomb Raider 2, because we have the first Tomb Raider movie, uh, a Was Minecraft movie. I don't know, because I never saw it, but I heard that it got like mixed reviews, like it was okay, but it wasn't really uh, anything special. Um, don't they but, already have a Mortal Kombat movie, though? I thought they did. Yeah, they have plenty of Mortal Kombat movies, but I guess they're doing another one. Yeah. Um, the old Mortal, that, Mortal Kombat movies are pretty fire. They're okay. One of them's not so good. The other one is just fun to watch. But, um, okay, Mega Man, Metal Gear Solid, Call of Duty, um, Super Mario, mm-hmm. The Last of Us, Call which has been delayed, Borderlands. We're set to do a Borderlands movie. I'm excited for mm-hmm. Borderlands. I don't yeah. know how that's going to turn out, though. Uh, yeah, I don't I know. Don't it's kind of a weird concept. Yeah. Um, Gears of War, Detective Pikachu 2, um, Fruit Ninja, Doom, The Division, Sleeping Dogs, Rainbow Six, uh, Centipede, Dante's, Doom Inferno, is good. Well, yeah. uh, Duke Nukem, that'd be funny, uh, Firewatch, Five Nights at Freddy's, um, Half-Life, Portal, Just Cause, Raving Rabbids, Shinobi, Splinter Cell, Tetris, Just Dance, and then <laughs> they have four. They have four different movie uh, TV shows: uh, Resident Evil TV show, Devil May Cry, Final Final Fantasy, and <laughs> Halo are said to be um, are said to be upcoming uh, TV shows. And then there's the movies too. So um, starting off with Minecraft, I think one of the most ridiculous ideas for a movie. On that list, yeah, I don't know no, how you're gonna. Be, 
Yeah, I don't know. So, mm. so here's the thing. Originally, um, what's his name? Originally, there was um, there was a Minecraft script um, that was penned by uh, uh, Rob McElney. He is Mac on um, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. He wrote a script for um, for a Minecraft movie, but he got uh, he got fired from the project for some reason oh. or dropped mm. from the project. But um, so I mean, Minecraft is one of the many weird ideas on there. Um, what else? Tetris and Just Dance. How are they gonna do? A How are they gonna do this movie? I don't understand. How they gonna do the Just Dance movie? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be. Have I'm you guys savage. ever seen Step It Up? Like the dance. It's kind of just a dance movie. There's no. plenty of those. Um, it could be something like that. I mean, the game really doesn't mm-hmm. have any main characters in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, Tomb Raider two. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <you're> like. <laughs> 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 Jerry, you're lagging it's so like, bad. Like, like every word just yeah. You, it takes like a fucking like minute just for one word to come. Out. Oh, it's so good. What? <laughs> you have no word you, idea what you're saying. Yeah, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, am I better yet? <laughs> no, I mean a little better. Wait, guys, I got a surprise. <laughs> Someone's here. <laughs> Isaiah? It's, it's Isaiah. Isaiah's here. Give him a second. He's here, though. Yeah. Isaiah, Dude, where are he can you? make fun of you with us. Uh, I, 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 I. Is he here? I let him in. <laughs> he hasn't. He's not in um, It said homeless black guy has asked to join. Wait, what is it? Homeless black guy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, back on topic until Isaiah gets <laughs> and We're waiting for homeless black guy to join. Um, What was... Oh, my back. Okay, <laughs> um... Guess. Yeah, special guest, homeless black guy. He's here to talk about the upcoming black guy. He's here to, he's here to come out, talk yep. about the upcoming oh. Tetris and Just Dance movies. Oh, yeah. Okay, go. so the other one that I thought sounded weird was a Super Mario movie. Um, what? Oh, bro, you remember like what, what was it called? The the live action Mario movie. What was it called? Dude? There yeah, was the, like on YouTube. What's it called? Oh, yeah, the YouTube series, like Mario Warfare or something like that. Oh, my God. Oh that my was God. funny. I think, but apparently they said, the Nint- uh, Nintendo said that their rights are with the Illumination Company for the movie. And that's the company that makes the Despicable Me movies. So we might have, like, a Despicable Me-style Mario movie. Mm, smells I'll play Mario, but I, re- I really don't care. Must, must be, be this fire, fire sandwich. sandwich. Um... Anyway, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I remember they've been talking about Five Nights at Freddy's oh, yeah. movie for a long time. I feel like, like that would I don't be know. Good. I don't know how that would turn out. I mean, I feel like it could be good, but then again, yeah, yeah. it has it potential if they don't if they don't <laughs> if they don't screw it up. Um, <laughs> a Fruit Ninja movie. Do you guys remember Fruit? Ninja? Oh, oh yeah. my god! No, no way. Fruit Ninja movie. I was just... <laughs> that <was laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I don't know how they're gonna pull a fruit ninja movie off. Um, <laughs> Is homeless like a Black watermelon Man Studios a watermelon it? character? I don't know. Um, no, there's been an un- just everyone trying not to get murdered by a ninja. They have um, an Uncharted movie set to come out, which um, they've had yeah, like be- four different writers drop out on that, and Tom Holland is supposed to play the main character, Nathan Drake. Nathan Drake. I don't, yeah, I don't that's uh, something about that doesn't sound right. Uh <laughs> no. <laughs> Isn't he like five seven two? Yeah, I don't I don't know. Um then okay, so then there's the other one I said that piqued my interest was uh Rainbow. I think it's supposed to come out oh, later yeah. next year, but um that is uh um Tom Clancy's I can't remember what the movie's called, but they've got Michael B. Jordan and he's supposed to be playing 
uh, one of the main characters in, and I think it's based off of one of his novels. So it's not quite a rainbow video game movie, but um, uh, it has potential to be pretty good. I mean, maybe they'll drop like a Fuse cameo in there. Wouldn't it be funny if we see like Fuse? They're like in a hostage situation, and Fuse just, <laughs> just kills the hostage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, they need okay. To. <laughs> There's also the division, which if they do that right, that could be that, uh, pretty no, good. I feel like that could be good. And then I remember back when we played Fortnite, there since that game's so popular, there's different studios trying to pick up the film rights for it. Um, so yeah. we might get a Fortnite movie. I could see that happening. I'm yeah. sure we'd all love to see that. Uh, oh yeah. But um, Ninja's the main the star. One? Yeah. See, that's the other thing is they just have Ninja running around killing people, and I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Um, a Doom movie would be cool. They have that on there. Yeah, that um, what else was there? Like I said, uh, Tetris. The Tetris movie. Um, pitch to me what a Tetris movie is going to be like. Pitch a Tetris movie to me, I, somebody. I've Maybe there's it. giant blocks falling and they will... I, I don't know. There's, I don't know. How, don't yeah, know. how would you do a Tetris movie? Exactly. That's what I don't understand. So... Here's my thinking. Um, they could pull off some sort of like um, every character is a block, and if they have if they fit together correctly, then oh. um, then they save oh, the day. Brendan, true. what do you think? Pitch me a Tetris movie. <laughs> Look yeah, at him. Tell Pitch us. us a Tetris movie. What, what would, would you your Tetris movie be like? All right, so it's gonna be kind of like Wreck It Ralph. All right. Okay. You have people. All right, and these little video game characters. All right. Yeah, all are they right. the, are they the cubes? Sure. So. It's, um, it's... Gonna talk? Gonna interrupt me? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna interrupt you. <laughs> Let him talk. Let him talk. Uh-huh. He's trying to pitch the worst <laughs> right. movie we've ever heard of to us. All right. <laughs> so, little Timmy. All right. Little he, Timmy. He. he Little Timmy or Big Timmy? What's going on? I mean, it's probably better than the Fruit Ninja movie. Yeah. Yeah, the so Fruit Ninja movie just sounds dumb. He okay, gets lost. all right. All right. Yeah. All right. So Timmy, he gets lost. Um. Okay. Right. He's lost. He's <laughs> lost. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that, is that, uh, he just gets lost. Is that yeah, Timmy it? Timmy is lost and dies. Mm, all right. So, so they're trying to find him. All right. Is anyone? Is Jeffrey it's frozen? He's frozen. <laughs> 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 <It is> frozen. <laughs> you guys are all frozen for me. Can you hear me? Uh, I know this is a great idea, right? <laughs> the, the Jeffrey's frozen. <laughs> okay, you guys are unfrozen for me now. <laughs> no, you froze the drugs. Oh, there it is. Oh, there, there we go. There we go. He's there back. Go. He's back. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> little <laughs> he said, little Timmy gets lost, and then I got frozen. Okay. He's still frozen. <laughs> oh, you're frozen again. Jeez, dude. Remind <laughs> me to use my hot spot next time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. He's lost. I love how you can't get past the part where he's lost. <laughs> he just keeps talking about how he's lost. <laughs> All right. So they have to try and find him. All right. Oh, yeah. Him Who has and, to try to find him? Him and, like, um, Wreck-It Ralph, the Wreck-It Ralph crew. Timmy and oh, so, Wreck-It Ralph have to find Timmy? So the Tetra movie has movie. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They have to find him. All right. Who's and helping the, Wreck-It Ralph find Timmy? Um, Like... That little Felix dude, and Fix it, Felix. that little <laughs> that little girl named like Daphne. <laughs> I don't think that's her name. <laughs> it's not like Candy or something like that. It's Vanellope. No. That's her name, Vanellope. Yeah, <laughs> Vanellope okay. von Schweetz. All right, so they're they're trying to find Timmy, all right, and they come across this okay. unbeatable game. Where oh, is it Tetris? Yeah. Where all of a sudden blocks just fall from the sky. Do they die from the blocks? Um, I don't know. 
You have to watch the movie. <laughs> you have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> To watch it to find out. Does anybody else want to pitch me a better Tetris idea? <laughs> Dude, I like Timmy getting lost. I don't know what you're talking Drew, about. Drew, what do you That's think? I know it's hard to beat Timmy getting lost. Okay, um, you know what? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just, Drew, pitch me a Fruit Ninja movie. Oh, God. Um, so no, no, there's I... there's a ninja, right? <laughs> and, he likes to cut fruit. And then okay. there's, there's fruit that flies in out of nowhere, and he has to just slice them. <laughs> Just keep slicing. Why can't he just like get hit by the fruit and just be the dead? Over then. What's the character's motivation for cutting the fruit? Um, is uh, he, he becomes gay? If <laughs> what? Hit by fruit. <laughs> I'd like to say like he's hungry or something like that, but no, you have to pull out to the queer card. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think like men would like this movie. I'm not, trying to appear to uh, appeal to a wider audience, people like Jude. I'm saying he should get hit by the fruit. You should get hit and just get killed, and that's the end of the movie. Yep. Okay, Jude, then you have to pitch a Just Dance movie. Oh, fuck. I mean... <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's people, right? Okay. It's gonna All be, right. They yep. have Just Dance VR. Like, they just came out with it. You know, it's going to be like... Like a Sword Art Online kind of thing, where like you get trapped in the video game and you have to dance, and if you stop dancing, you die. There you go, and everyone dies at the end. There, ruined it for you. <laughs> Whoa, what was that, Drew? Why would you ruin it? Okay, <laughs> what about a FNAF movie? What would that be like? FNAF? Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Um, I mean, I know we were um, all big. I feel like this would be fans. a good chance to use. Then again, actually, no. People hated that first person movie, right? Yeah. That first person movie. Oh, like what was uh, it? Hardcore Henry. Uh, yeah. Is that what it was called? I can't remember what that was yeah. about. I that never weird, watched though. it. I watched it. It was, uh, it was, I don't know. I didn't think they made it work very well, to be honest. But um, I was I gonna mean, say maybe they could try to do a first person for like. I mean, I don't think I think they just didn't do it well. I you can make a first person movie work if you do it right, but they just didn't. The people, the hardcore Henry Studios. Um, okay, so a FNAF movie. You said it would be first person, jump scares and stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, sounds like it could be a good horror movie that uh, yeah. would appeal to a horror audience. I don't know. I just think the video game movies a are horror cool audience. Cool. Yeah, horror audience. We need a, uh, more horrors watching our movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll draw more people into the theaters, make more money. All right. Anyway, uh, moving on to the uh, final topic of the uh, of the video. This is nice, Drew. <laughs> is that that's, is that a picture from the official movie? <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> That's the fruit ninja. <laughs> That's the fruit ninja. <laughs> Dude, he really doesn't want to be gay. Look at He's that. He's really face. close to oh. your head. I know. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the sword's still in your head. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Nightmare. Brendan disappeared. <laughs> Just the thermostat in the background. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. Trophies. Uh, yeah. Wait, cut this down. I got. I got to go back. Okay. Okay. Everything good? I'm confused. Yeah, Jude went to the bathroom. Of course he did. Yeah. <laughs> you so bad. Charlie's so bad. She's so bad. Sometimes I don't want to move it, move it. I can't seem to make the background work very well. Oh, Brendan. Mm. You can't get that out. 
I can't cut that part out now. Quarantine. I think this is going to be on a new background on my laptop. I have some weird cucumber thing, but I don't know. All right, we'll work with this. Does this work, guys? Mm-hmm. Who is that? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's me from a long time ago. No, it's not. Wait. So bad. So bad. There's Jude. There's some chick in the background. There's me. I don't know what this is. I don't know either. <laughs> I think it's spinach. Look at my face. What happened? Nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. For our final topic of the video, I figured we'd talk about uh, mobile games because we were all little kids spinach. at one point. Oh, spinach. Okay. Yeah. I figured, well, we were all little kids at one point and we all probably played mobile games. Um. So. Yeah. Um, I still kind of do. Yeah. So, Okay. Drew, what is this? Uh, um, We're going to get copyright um, struck and Drew. Hmm? We're going to get copyright <laughs> struck and look at this. That's obviously the We're McDonald's. Like, part of this. What does that say? I That's can't tell. That's obviously McDonald's. It's McDonald's. Um, They're going to sue uh, us. Uh, I don't know. His name. All right. Well, Call anyway. Me. Count. Oh, free food, question mark. Count me in. What? Free food count me in, yeah. I love free food. Anyway, um, give me one second. Okay. You should play your guitar, Jeffrey. You should yep. I should play my guitar. I'll finish the video yeah. off that way. Alright, yeah. so for the last one, everybody, what was your favorite mobile game? My favorite mobile game? Oh, it's tough. Jesus. There's um you what was it called? Clash Clan Club is mine. For some reason, it won't download on my phone anymore. Like, it won't download on this phone. It would download on my older phone, but... What's it called? <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking this... I'm looking this up. PUBG probably is close. PUBG? We Dude, play PUBG, PUBG or Clash of Clans. Frontline Commando D-Day. Huh? I remember I loved playing that game. <laughs> that sounds really gay. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Brendan, what about you? Um, I don't know. I have to look. Um, a look. You played uh, PUBG a lot. Yeah, PUBG was fun. Was really I, say, fun. I think my favorite was probably PUBG because we played PUBG so much. Whenever we had to go to, what was it, like, play practice or something like play that? We played PUBG. Yeah, no. Mine is probably and Miss Huggins would like roll over onto her yeah. belly and start yelling at us. <laughs> <laughs> probably either like Frontline Commando, PUBG, or Summoner's War. Yeah. Okay. War a lot of times. All right. Well, I think that's it for uh, the very first episode of uh, Dude, Future Cast. Like, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we never. Uh, Isaiah was supposed to join, and in the future, uh, Joey plans on showing Joey. up for an episode. He wasn't able to make it today, but um, Isaiah obviously wasn't able to make it either. So there's usually two more of us. Uh, they're both Texans. They're pretty weird. But um, <laughs> so uh, if you did, if you did enjoy the first episode of um, Future Cast, um, I mean this is uh, pretty experimental for us. We've never done anything like this before. So um, <clears throat> yeah, that too. Um, I plan on putting this on. Spotify and um, SoundCloud, and then I'm definitely going to put it on um, YouTube. And uh, I have to see if I can put it on SoundCloud, but um, I definitely plan on putting it on YouTube and Spotify. So, um, like I said, if you guys did enjoy it, if there's anybody that uh, enjoyed it out there anywhere, 
that happened to like it even a little bit. I don't know if it's Do possible it. or not. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess share it. Um, I hope you guys yeah. will probably share it with people. Stream it on so, Spotify now. Stream on Spotify right now or Joodle. Show up at your house. He'll probably show up anyway. But um, yeah, probably. Anyways. Um, yeah. So, uh, like yeah. I said, if you guys enjoyed, then um, we're gonna try to do this. Um, we're gonna try to do this a little bit more regularly. But um, maybe try to plan it out a little bit better. Like I said, this is the very first episode. This is our first time doing anything like this. Probably try to keep the conversations flowing a little bit better next time. Uh, maybe, um, may make it longer, make it shorter if it's too long. But um, as for now, that's the uh, very first episode of um, Future Cast, and we'll see you guys next time. Play your play your guitar, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got to oh, yeah. play my guitar. We're all we're gonna hear is doom. Uh, 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 you have to sing. You have to sing. Hey, can you sing Good Riddance? Can you sing Time of Your Life, Jude? Uh, I do not know where it's at. That's not how it goes, Drew. You're, it's, Go follow Drew M on Twitch. Dude, that's the worst song I've ever seen on screen. <laughs> I know it's not. We need a theme song. I'll see if I can make a theme song. Great. Right. But like I said, that's the future lyrics. cast. I'll sing it. Does anybody want to plug anything real quick? Uh, my Twitch. Drew Go buy my merch. Uh, Drew M Twitch. underscore 22. I'll try 22. to remember to um, note to self, Jeffrey, link uh, Drew's yeah. Twitch. Um, yeah. yeah, but um, anyway, we will you see you guys on the next up. episode if we... We'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.